So right now you can see number device one. You can see that I am able to write here. Device two. This is my laptop that I am writing. And then device three. You can see that now I'm writing here. So that's the beauty of this keyboard. You can see it's it's so hassle free that you could switch between all the three devices that I have here. Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to today's vlog. And in today's vlog, we are going to talk about a unique problem statement that I was facing and how I resolved it. So basically, as you can see here, this is my setup. So this involves my personal laptop. This is my desktop that is operating a Mac mini. And then I have this uh, iPad Air also, which I operate quite uh, frequently. So I keep shuffling between these uh, devices. And the problem that I was facing that whenever I have to switch my work between my personal laptop or this desktop, I have to keep shuffling between the input devices. So if I have to work on my system, I'll be working here. And then if I have to switch to my uh, Mac, uh, then I have to switch shuffle to this keyboard. And then again, you can see that I also have to uh, then shuffle between the two mouse also. And, and sometimes it is very uh, problematic to remember okay which uh, device uh, to pick from and then so all of that is very distracting so I was looking out for a solution wherein I could remove all this clutter by by having one set of keyboard and mouse which some way gives me a unifying experience between my different devices so I started looking out on the web, I started looking out for options. So one of the very foremost options that came through was a KVM. KVM is, uh, stands for uh, Keyboard Video Mouse Switch. So when I started looking out on the web for a, a very standard offering which is tested and proven, I didn't find any very viable option for, uh, for a KVM switch. Uh, so then I started looking further and then there were some uh, software options there that were available like uh, we have a free uh, software from Windows uh, that is called Mouse Without Border Borders and uh, so as you can see, I think I can bring that up. So this is, this is the uh, software from uh, Microsoft so this can was one of the options and uh, then there is one paid software from Synergy. This also uh, could have been one of the options, but that didn't give me uh, much because I didn't want to go in and invest and then uh, face certain challenges because software based option was not giving me that much of a confidence. Although Synergy says that it is compatible between Mac and Windows and Linux, Raspberry Pi, everything everywhere it was but but somehow it was not giving me that uh, confidence so i went in and i started to look in further for something like uh, a bluetooth or a wireless um, device that can unify between different devices that i use or i operate so i was looking initially when i started looking in for i was only looking for two device support or something like that and then I, for the first thing that I stumbled upon was this Logitech K375S uh, keyboard, uh, which has a multi-device support whereby it can support three uh, devices. So this is this is the product from uh, Logitech that I bought. And today we are going to review this product. So I'll show you how I installed this keyboard and how it makes my life easier on a day-to-day -day basis. So first of all, this keyboard. So this keyboard I was using only for my Mac and then I was using my uh, laptop uh, keyboard for my uh, operations on that laptop. I just have one more monitor extended to my laptop. So I, I used to um, shuffle between uh, this and this screen. And this screen was for my uh, MacBook, uh, sorry, uh, Mac Mini. So first, let's get rid of this uh, keyboard and let's have a look 
at the keyboard uh, that we are talking about. So this is a Logitech K375S multi device keyboard. So you can have a look here. There are three keys here which are defined. So you can actually uh, have three devices. You can switch between three devices uh, while you are working. And it comes also with a unit universal receiver so this receiver actually you can plug into one of the devices and if you want to connect to other devices what you can do is that this keyboard also supports bluetooth smart technology so with with you whatever your main computer is where you want to remain connected you can actually use the receiver and then for the rest of the devices you can use the smart bluetooth so in my case, my Mac Mini is a very old um, uh, Mac Mini. It is 215, uh, earlier than 215. And so what I did is that it, it was not supporting smart Bluetooth. So I used the receiver on my uh, Mac Mini. And then for my laptop and my uh, tab, I used the uh, smart Bluetooth. So I configured it that way. So now uh, before moving on connecting this laptop, let's talk about uh, what advantages this uh, um, keyboard offers. Uh, so first and foremost, I was also looking for a keyboard with dual layout. Dual layout means it has the Windows layout format as well as the uh, Mac uh, layout. So as you can see here that it has got the dual layout. Um, so it, it, it again makes life much simpler for somebody who keeps switching between a Windows and a Mac system. The next beautiful thing about this is that it has got uh, a very good ergonomics uh, from the key uh, point of view and then you have the numpad as well. So these are some of the key features of uh, this particular keyboard and now let's move on and let's try to connect it to the different systems that i have out here so first and foremost what i will do is i'll plug the universal receiver okay so now i have connected the universal receiver to my mac mini and now let's test out whether the keyboard is connecting so first thing that you have to do is that you have to choose like which uh, button you want to pair with uh, your system. So I'm going because this is the primary system that I use. So I am going to press uh, this key that is one and then it will blink for some time and then you need to go and check out whether this keyboard has. I'll switch to a notepad and you can see here that this keyboard is now paired with my uh, Mac system. So now for the second key here, I am trying to connect it to my uh, laptop. So what I can do is that all that I have to do is go to the Bluetooth settings and here I you can you can see that for me this is this uh, keyboard is already connected. So you can see here that on pressing 2, I am able to write here. So, but uh, if you want to move back to the Mac, I had paired it on the first uh, key. So you can see that I am able to write on my Mac system. And pressing 2, you can see here that I am writing on my laptop. Now I can even use my uh, iPad uh, and I can connect the, I can even connect uh, my, uh, this keyboard because I have still one uh, device uh, support uh, that I can avail my working right now. So I'll go back to Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth is on, keyboard is connected. Okay, this should be working. Okay, you can see here. Right. So, right now you can see number device 1. You can see that I am able to write here. Device 2, 
This is my laptop that I'm writing and then device 3. You can see that now I'm writing here. So that's the beauty of this keyboard. You can see it's, it's so hassle free that you could switch between all the three devices that I have here. So that's all for today's video. If you have any question or queries, you can write to me in the comment section or you can also read my blog post on the same topic. The URL will be provided in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.